Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am Pookie, and if you are returning, welcome back, welcome back. Happy New Year's to each and every one of you guys. Thank you all for your support, your continued support for my newbies that are new, my new subscribers, my new people, my new babies, my new girlies, my new girls, my new guys. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Y'all, we're doing something different today. We're sitting down, we're giving you guys a little sit down video. This video has been highly, highly, highly requested. Okay, when I say highly requested, highly requested in my DMs, under my videos all over okay everybody wants to see my makeup routine i wanted to do an updated makeup routine i try to be as detailed as i can i just like to show you guys my products and what i use and what i do i will be doing more get ready with me more makeup looks more chit chats more detail this is just the first of many so make sure to hit that subscribe button while we're talking right now before this video even gets to rolling in because if you want to see more of this face right here I highly recommend you do that. Make sure to like this video, make sure to comment some nice stuff for your girl, per usual. So, I'm not gonna do too much more rambling, too much. I'm looking good though, y'all, this Bob is <laughs> bobbing, okay? So, let's get into it. I'm not gonna do too much talking. I already said that, but I'm still talking to y'all, look at me. Okay, let's go. I already went ahead and uh, did my brows off camera, so we already did that. If you guys would like a detailed eyebrow routine, let me know that and I can simply do that. But I like to do my brows off camera because it takes me a little bit of time. They not twins, they sisters, so it just takes me some time. But I will let you guys know the products that I did use for my eyebrows. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. I use this one just for like the front of my brows. And then I like to go in with NK Makeup Brow Brown Eyeliner Pencil. I use this on top of the NYX because it can be a little bit light and I kind of like a bold brow. And I like to, especially with a darker pencil, black pencil, until I like to go in my outer corner of my brows. So I use this to fill in my brows. I don't really overdraw my brows. I really just fill them in. And then I clean them up with concealer. The concealer I used was the MAC Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer in the color NW51. This is what I use to conceal my eyebrows, the top and the bottom. And then I just go ahead and make sure I blend everything out. Okay. After the brows, we're going to go ahead and prime our face. And I just want to introduce you guys to two primers that I like to use. It depends on what I'm doing and where I'm going. I am a big fan and huge, huge supporter of the Milk Hydro Pro um, primer. I use this primer like a lot, majority of the time. And I just started using the one size to clear the sweat primer and the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I want to go ahead and in today with the one size secure the sweat primer just a little bit. And like I told y'all, I just started using it, but I'm not gonna lie, I like it so far. I have a pimple right here. But I just go ahead and apply that all over my face. Especially in the areas of my T-zone because I sweat there the most. Okay. I let that sit for a little bit, not a little bit. When I say a little bit, I mean literally a little bit while I put my foundation on. Today's foundation and foundation that I've always, always loved and I'm a huge fan of and I cannot live without is the Fenty Beauty. I cannot live without. I'm just such a huge fan. It just melts in my skin and makes my skin look like skin. It looks like I have makeup on, but I don't like to have a lot of makeup on. And I feel like this is just perfect for my skin. I feel Fenty Beauty in the color 480. And we're gonna use that brow foundation today. Apply that all over the face. So I'm going to use my Sephora brush, Sephora foundation brush in 60, 
and what I do with my foundation is I pat in my foundation I'm gonna use the brush but I'm not gonna smear it I'm gonna pat it in the areas that I want it to and that's why and I, you guys see I didn't apply a lot of foundation and it looks very orange right now it definitely will not stay this orange I'm gonna go ahead and just pat that foundation into my skin So once I'm done with the brush, I like to go in with my beauty blender and I just use the back of the beauty blender, a damp beauty blender to go in over what I did still with that same pat in motion and I'm just going to keep patting everything in. I'm going to go in with my concealers and the two concealers I'll be using today is the one size concealer in the color R3 and I'll be also using my Mario Fix 24 hour concealer again in the color NW51 and I'll be using both of these concealers together. So what I like to do is firstly, what I call like my base concealer is I'll go in here with the one size it is my lightest shade. I love a bright under eye, so I'm going to go in with that first. And for my outer corner, I am going to go in with this here. And we're going to do our nose, like that, our forehead. Cool. Then we're going to go in with my Sephora brush in 71 and we're going to go ahead and blend that out. brush first and then I like to go in a damp beauty blender an angled beauty blender to um, go over what I just did so what I like to do is use brushes first and then I go over with my sponges I'm blending my concealer in. I'm going to go in with my contour, my cream contour, and I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Color Perfect Foundation Stick in the color 6826 for my contour.
using a real techniques for a brush and 200 i don't know if it's a contour brush or foundation brush but this is what i use for my contour and i just go ahead and make sure that i'm pulling that contour up A lot of blending just blend 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 go ahead with my real techniques to brush in 300 to blend in my nose contour Once I'm done with the cream contour, I'm going to go back in with my one size concealer to brighten my under eye up. Go in with my beauty blender. Going in with the back, going to blend in that harsh line between the contour and the concealer. So once my concealer is uh, done being blended in, a lot of blended, so just make sure you're blending everything in. You're blending your harsh lines out. Try to blend as much as you can, as much as possible. I, I'm not really looking in the mirror. I have all this stuff in front of me, so I can't really see. So I'm looking in this mirror down here, and I'm just like, am I blended? Hopefully I'm blended. <laughs> Okay, so after we blend all our concealer and everything else in, we're going to go in with the G Bon Chi Prism. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I'm gonna go in with a dual contour and I'm gonna use this right here to contour. I don't really bronze. I don't know if this is considered bronzing or contouring, I'm not sure. But I'm more of a contour person over bronzing. I like to bring the color back into my face. So all the areas that I had the cream contour, I'm going to go over that with the powder. So 
So after my contour all over, I'm going to contour my nose with my Real Techniques brush in 300 again. Going over the same area where my cream contour was. And I'm just gonna pull that into the brow a little bit. And even as a little bit of an eyeshadow, kind of like a darker eyelid. So I go ahead and do that for a little bit of a dark eyeshadow look. So once I'm done with the nose contour, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush in 402 and I'm going to dust away all the excess setting powder. So I don't really, I don't know if this is considered baking because I don't have like a lot of product just sitting on my face because I kind of pushed it in a little bit and I just let the rest just sit there while I do my powder contour. So I'm just going ahead and dusting all of that off and also with the dusting I feel like I'm kind of blending it in a little bit too make sure I'm just blending my lines out and I just like to like kind of get the excess off on my hand or on a paper towel or something because as I am put adding product or removing product I'm cleaning off my brush as well so I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match one right here I'm gonna go in with this in the color C7, but I use just a little bit and really I'm going to use it uh, under my eye. I'm going to dust that under my eye a little bit. Just a little bit. And I also like to use excess to kind of blend everything out. So majority of the brush does not have product. I didn't pick up a lot of that L'Oreal True Match. I just like just blending everything in, basically. That's what I like to do, just to make sure everything is a little bit blended, okay? Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my liner, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyeliner in black. I love a dark waterline. I just feel like it opens up my eye just a little bit more. I'm going to go in with my blush and I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Baked Blush in the color 8315 or Brick House. I think that's what it's called and it looks like this. And I'm just going to take a little bit and I kind of go into that space between my my concealer and that contour a little bit over the nose so i'm going to add just a little bit of a brighter blush i'm going to be using the dual blush and i'm going to use this rosy color right here just a little bit of it Okay, applied my mascara. Now I'm going to go in. So I'm going to be using a highlighter out of the True Complexion um, Contour Palette. So I'm going to be using the highlighter out of here. And just put a little bit of that right over my blush. Using this Morphe brush. And I'm going to apply some in my inner corner with the highlighter, the highlight. My nose. That bit. Make sure you go back and blend that in. 
gonna add more of a shimmer highlighter on top. I don't know, for some reason I just like that look. Now that we are done putting the highlighter on, we're pretty much done with our face. We're gonna go into my lip combo. I'm gonna be using a Sephora lip liner in the color Molasses. With any dark eyeliner pencil, lip pencil, whatever, I like to go over my lip liner with this black lip pencil. I'm then going to go in with my lip gloss. I'll be using the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Maybelline to And then on top of that, with any pink lip gloss that you have, any kind of pink tint lip gloss, just go over that. Like a pinkish nudist tint lip gloss. So once that's done, I'm ready to set my face. I'm gonna be using the one size setting spray to set my face and just whew, draw my face. yes guys this is the final look oh i love it so much if you miss any products or if i miss any products whether naming them or leaving them on the screen thing will be down in the description from my eyebrows to the last thing i did which was my set and spray so yes make sure you guys subscribe to my channel do not forget to do that we are on the road to 2k subs i'm so excited thank you guys so much for all the support and love and i hope this makeup tutorial was what you were wanting what you were needing this is pretty much my everyday makeup glam like literally i don't do any other look i literally do this every day every time it's time to wear makeup so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel do not forget to do that and i will see you guys on my next video